Quick question, is God trying to send a message to the people of Israel? Rumors say that the unspoken name of God, the name which observant Jews cannot say, appears on the eastern wall of the Temple Mount. I'm right now in the old city of Jerusalem. The Dun Gate is over there. The city of David is also there behind me. And this place is just full of Jewish history. So I want to take you with me to find out if the rumors are true or not. Let's go. Kamanya, I see that you're wearing a very special shirt for this very special occasion. Oh yeah, the Jerusalem USA shirt. I am wearing it to celebrate the first country to move its embassy to our capital city, Jerusalem. Uh, if you want to get this shirt, actually go to the israelstore.com. You'll be able to get this one and more shirts, free shipping worldwide, and 10% of everything goes to help Holocaust survivors. But back to our special mission here. I've seen several videos and photos of people saying about the name of God appearing on the Eastern Wall, but there's nothing like seeing it with my own eyes. And the location is very unique and holy. Why? Because we are right now exactly between the Temple Mount and Mount of Olives. According to Jewish and Christian traditions, the Messiah will ascend exactly here. And according to the Bible, in Zechariah 14.4, the Messiah will stand on Mount Olives, which is right here behind me, and the mount will split into two, with one half shifting north and the other half shifting south. Then the Messiah will go down to the Kidron Valley, which is here in route to the Temple Mount, and enter the Holy Ground through the Golden Gate, which is right here behind me on the eastern wall of the Temple Mount. It's just unbelievable to walk where the Messiah will walk and to see these holy sites with my own eyes. It's like in Israel, the Bible comes to life. Oh my goodness, this is it. You have to show them, this is it. Yahweh, the name of God, is written on the eastern wall of the Temple Mount. Unbelievable. We are here, it's here, it's happening. I am speechless. You can see the letters Yud, Hey, Vav, and the last letter is missing. Perhaps God will complete the last letter at the very end of the end times, but it's as real as it can get. The name of God is formed by these plants that are literally growing on the wall, same ones that grow on the Western wall as well. Now, fun fact, observant Jews are forbidden from pronouncing the name Yahweh, and whenever the name of God appears in the Bible, they instead pronounce Adonai, which is Hebrew for Lord. It is one of the Ten Commandments to not take the name of God in vain. So in order to avoid this possibility from even arising, the name of God is unpronounceable. But I have to say that the location of the name of God is very special because it's right next to the Golden Gate, the very gate from which both Jews and Christians and even Muslims believe that the Messiah will enter the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. The Ottoman Sultan blocked and sealed the gate so that the Jewish Messiah will never be able to enter the Temple Mount here in Jerusalem. And some beliefs say that a Muslim cemetery was built here in order to slow him down, so to say. But of course, nothing is going to slow the Messiah down. And this is just huge. It reminds me the story from the book of Daniel, chapter five, when a human hand was writing on the wall Mene, mene, teke parsin. Seems like God loves to send special messages through words written on walls, as it is not the first time it is happening. And whether you are located in the Americas, Europe, or Asia, whatever happens in Jerusalem and Israel will affect your life as well, because I believe that Israel, and especially Jerusalem, are the clock of God's timing. And whatever happens in Jerusalem never happens for no reason. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay connected to what's happening on the ground in Israel. Thank you very much.